Aloha, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Wherever you're at in the world, I'm very grateful to be connecting with you today. My name is Master Paul, and it's my honor to be here with you on this beautiful Wednesday, Tuesday. I'm close. It's Tuesday, actually the 21st, and it is a day of self-love. Today, that's what I'll be focusing on for those that have just tuned in and wondering what is going to be the topic today. I'll be sharing with you some guidance and some insights on how to honor ourselves, how to ensure that we take care of ourselves with self-love. It is certainly a topic that should resonate with a lot of people. And we'll see if we can find some good nuggets of wisdom to share today. Of course, there will always be some blessings that will be offered as well. And so I hope you're able to stick around and join me. <clears throat> I know that many of you have a busy schedule, so if you cannot, but you would like to know more about this, make sure you like and subscribe, and uh, then you'll be notified when I do go live. And also, on my Facebook page, at the top of the page is when I am always available on Facebook Live, which is today, Tuesdays, at uh, noon Hawaii time. And it does list the time zone differences on the top of my page. And then also on Thursdays, uh, three hours earlier than now, at 9 a.m. Hawaii time. I know for some of you, uh, you really miss being able to connect with me at the times that were previously available. I apologize about the um, lack of flexibility there. But I have a busy life. I do the best I can to serve as many as I can. So thank you for coming. Thank you for joining. Thank you for clicking on that share button to let other people know about today's live stream. Whoever you know of that may have some self-love blockages, then they're probably be good ones to share with. <clears throat> so... It's been a very busy week. Um, I was just notified by a friend, uh, several friends actually, that live over in the Trinidad area, which is then the lower part of the Caribbean islands, just off the coast of uh, South America, that they had a significant earthquake over there, and a very scary one. And so uh, Kristen Rojas, who is normally here, is dealing with those conditions. There wasn't anything that um, broken in her building, apparently, but... Uh, uh, quite significant and long earthquake. I've been through one of those when I was in California. And uh, it's kind of scary. So she's checking on her loved ones, making sure they're safe. So we want to make sure we send our blessings uh, as appropriate for all those being impacted by the earthquakes in that zone. And of course, this applies to everyone everywhere that's been impacted by natural disasters. So let's see who's joined us so far here today. Welcome, Monica. Thank you for joining. Monica is, will be assisting today as well. Uh, welcome, Aloha, Susan Birchmore. Welcome, Terry Jean. And Aloha, Edom Ilamu. Thank you for joining. Aloha also to Carol Pico. Aloha, Scott. Thank you for joining. Welcome also, Rosetta. And welcome to Nirma. Aloha, Shelly Davis. Aloha, welcome, Peggy Blake and Don Robinson. Welcome also to uh, Mahansuk and Lisa Carter. Aloha and welcome Tracy. And anybody else, if I missed your name, forgive me. <clears throat> so today's subject, as indicated, will very likely be uh, very apropos for many people. The subject of self-love or the lack thereof. It has some important roots. <clears throat> Those roots can be dissolved. Those roots can be... Um, uprooted, so to speak, and new ones planted. Uh, just as with anything that is a habit in our life, so is a lack of self-love. It's actually a bad habit that is not serving us. And there are some reasons for that. So I will share with you some insights as we go through that today. <clears throat> Welcome also to Alan Bell. Welcome, Dan Forbes, Dean Forbes, and Delma. So let us place our hands in soul light, soul service, hand position. We're going to connect heart to heart, soul to soul. I will call forth all the beings of light to come to serve at this time. And as that happens, you can connect heart to heart, soul to soul as well. Close your eyes. Be fully present. Because when I call forth all these beings of lights, millions, millions come. This is not a, a small thing. It's a great opportunity to fully receive blessings. So, dear our beloved divine creator, all layers of the divine, the Tao, the source, all the angels, healing angels, archangels, beloved masters and ascended masters, 
gurus, lamas, sifus, saints, all Buddhas and bodhisattvas, dear beloved Jesus and Mother Mary, <coughs> dear beloved Amitofu, dear beloved Shakyamuni Fo, dear beloved Kuan Yin, dear beloved Krishna and Ganesha, and more, Vishnu, and more. All of those serving the plan of the light side, including the stars, planets, galaxies, and universes, beloved Mother Earth, the Sun, and the Moon. We love you, we honor you, respect you. <clears throat> I personally bow my head to you and ask most humbly and sincerely for your presence. We ask for your blessings today, your guidance, your wisdom, any insights that you have on the subject of self-love, how to honor and love ourselves more. We are deeply grateful for the opportunity to receive your blessings. <clears throat> Dear the source soul song of love, peace, and harmony, transmitted to all souls in all universes. Love you, honor you, respect you. Could you please come? Could you please offer your guidance, offer your blessings, your uh, love, peace, and harmony blessings to each and every one of us as we chant. We invite all souls in all universes to come to join us at this time. So let us chant together to offer this unconditional service to align our hearts and souls together. Lula Hali Lula Wo I Woshin Herling Wo I Tran Ranley Rung Ling Rung Her Musher Shang Shang I Ping on a Shay Shang I Ping on a I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. <coughs> How, 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 thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, the source soul song of love, peace, and harmony. For those that are not familiar, new, just tuned in, what was that? That was the source soul song of love, peace, and harmony. Uh, it's a song that was received through heavenly guidance about 2005. It has been translated into literally over 40 languages and is chanted in over six continents in over 45 countries. So my encouragement is that you go to lovepeaceharmony.org and download the song complimentary. You can also uh, go to Google Apps or Apple Play Store and download the app called Love, Peace, and Harmony. And uh, the, the opportunity to chant each and every day to serve others or self is very valuable. That actually leads quite well into self-love. <clears throat> and so let me acknowledge who else has joined us. Welcome, Delma. Welcome also, Lisa Zarniak. Aloha, Jennifer Chris Smith. Welcome, Wagna. Welcome also to Teresa. Uh, great to see you here instead of always on YouTube, Teresa. And also, aloha to Mary Smith. Aloha and welcome to anyone else whose name I may have missed. Thank you for joining. All right. <clears throat> So last night when I posted this, um, I was vacillating between a couple of different topics, but this was the one that won out. Self-love is a significant, significant um, suffering that many, many, many souls have, lack thereof. And, you know, when I heard Master Shah talk about this, this is about three years ago, uh, his one of his top teachers, Master Cynthia, said to him, because he was offering blessings for, you know, releasing of anger, releasing of fear, things of that, right? And Master Cynthia said, Master Shah, we need blessings for self-love. And Master Shah said, self-love? It's a really quizzical question, like, what does that mean? He literally was quite serious. He's like, what does a lack of self-love mean? 
and he he had to have it explained to him not because he had poor english he understood clearly what was being stated he just didn't understand the lack of self-love and uh, he he said, you know, please forgive me. He actually apologized. He said to everybody, please forgive me. I was very blessed to grow up with uh, beautiful parents who loved me unconditionally. They did not judge me. They supported me with everything that I wanted to accomplish. And when it was necessary to offer strict guidance, they did that as well. And so he said, I did not really understand that a lot of people grew up with conditions that were not necessarily supportive in that way. <clears throat> And so uh, that was a very enlightening thing for Master Shah. Now, there is a significant amount of karma actually associated with self-love. What Master Shah refers to as Shen Qi Jing blockages. For those that are new, a Shen Qi and Jing blockages, Shen is a Mandarin Chinese word. These are all Mandarin Chinese words. And Shen means uh, soul, heart, and mind blockages, mindsets, attitudes, beliefs, selfishness, uh, ego things of that nature and then there is energy and matter blockages energy blockages of course as the blockages that the Shen Qi Jing blockages excuse me the Shen blockages soul heart mind blockages impact our energy they impact our matter and these kinds of blockages are karmic and so so let me state that differently so if you have significant self-love issues and I'm saying these are karmic what exactly does that mean that means that if you're suffering with neck pain at some point in time you're your ancestors cause other people's neck pain if you're suffering from back pain same thing if you're suffering from financial blockages at some point in time you created financial blockages or your ancestors did upon others if you have self-love issues where you you do not love yourself you have significant um, lack of self-esteem low self-esteem how do you know if you have low self-esteem well there's obvious right you you just feel depressed and, and like nobody loves me that's kind of obvious but there's other ways of low self-esteem which is always looking for attention right attention seeking behaviors is a lack of self-love so attention seeking behaviors are like you know children act out all the time to to get attention even negative attention is attention isn't it right we see this all the time with children but we also very commonly see it with adults so self-love can be identified in many many ways and uh, it is karmic in nature so what does that mean that means that either you as a different version of you in a previous time that is not the bubbly wonderful beautiful happy personality that you are today the kind loving caring personality that you are today in a previous time you didn't have the qualities and characteristics that you have today and in those previous times you and or ancestors could have been unpleasant to other people maybe you could have been unpleasant to children or to brothers and sisters or to peers family friends maybe you were in a position of authority uh, and you were unpleasant in that way what do I mean by unpleasant well do you have people in your life that talk down to you Do you have people in your life that put you down or say derogatory things to you do you have people that judge you and criticize you if you if your hand goes up or I see a bunch of uh, you know unhappy faces or whatever buttons you want to push then that means that yeah you're probably one of those people that have been on the abusive end of this kind of a structure what if you say unpleasant things to yourself oh you're just nothing no one loves you you're ugly you're this you're that and you say these things to yourself okay these are karmic in nature this means that either we not the beautiful people we are today or others in a previous time <clears throat> have said very unpleasant things to others we have put them down we have said you're never gonna amount to nothing you're ugly you're this you're that why do you believe that you're so stupid blah 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 right uh, my dad used to say give you books and give you books and all you do is eat the covers what the heck does that mean right I'm 10 11 year old and I'm hearing these as a stepfather he had a lot of weird colloquialisms but he would be very negative he, he was not a very positive person he would put 
you know, put the, me and my brothers down. And so why? Because, that, of course, that's what he learned. Um, but what happens is when we grow up, we have, of course, our parents, our peers, which is karmic-based, our parents and our peers. We are in their lives because of our karma. They then either communicate with us lovingly or non-lovingly. And this helps form our personalities, our egos. Self-love or lack thereof is something that we adopt. We accept it as a truth when it doesn't necessarily need to be accepted as a truth. It needs to be seen from an educational perspective. It needs to be seen from the higher awarenesses of a spiritual aspirant on the path of awakening. When you are someone that is awakened on your spiritual path, you can look at the lack of self-love, the lack of <clears throat> self-confidence, respect for yourself. What are other ways that it shows up? When we don't take care of our health, when we overeat incorrect foods for us, when we allow others, especially those close to us, to continue to say unpleasant things to us, to continue to do unpleasant actions towards us. These are not self-loving conditions. These are examples of a lack of self-love. If you truly honored yourself, you would tell that person that is not being kind and nice to you that they are not being kind and nice to you. You have to tell them. You say, I don't appreciate the words you are using. They are not respectful and honoring of me as a human being. I understand you may be hurt and you may have some emotional things you wish to share, but you are sharing them in a very derogatory and hurtful manner. It is exceedingly disrespectful and I don't appreciate it. I am going to leave the room and I will not return to this conversation until you communicate with me in a loving, honoring, and respectful manner. And you need to continue to leave the room until that person that communicates with you in that way changes the way they communicate. And if they do not change, you need to move yourself to a place where you are no longer harming yourself or allowing yourself to be in the, in the uh, face of unpleasant communication. You have that control. I heard something in a movie the other night. It's like it said, um, you have free will. And you have feet in your shoes. This means you can make whatever choice you want and walk whatever direction you want to go in. I thought that was a pretty brilliant line to hear in a movie. <clears throat> so it's the same thing for those who lack self-love. We want to complain. We want to blame others. We want to wallow in our self-pity because these are aspects of ego and attention-seeking. But it does not move you forward, does it? Can you think of any time when it's actually benefited you with the exception of momentarily or temporarily? It might momentarily affect you because somebody says, oh, they're now good boy, good girl, it'll be okay, right? These are all self-deprecation patterns, uh, patterns that do not allow us to stand in our strength, to stand in our self-worth and our self-value. Honestly, who really cares what other people think. Truly, if you put too much credit into what other people think of you, you are giving away your power. Did they give birth to you? If it's your mother and father, we can give merit and value to what they think. But a good mother and a good father teach you to think for yourself. They teach you to honor, love, and respect yourself. So if you give them the power over you through derogatory communication, not a good thing to do. And going back to the statement, who really cares what other people think? So if it's not your mother and father, you really should not care too much about what other people think. Unless you're truly interested in their opinion, not about you, but about something you might be doing. There could be certainly value in that. But when it comes to caring about you, who cares what other people think? 
Who cares what their perceptions are? You know, so many women, so many men, they go through life with these unpleasant negative perceptions because of their weight, their height, their hair color, their skin color, the shape of their teeth, the shape of, of whatever about their physical body presence, okay? Maybe their voice, maybe it's their eyes. Who knows? People make this stuff all the time. Okay? A lack of self-love is because we gave our power to other people. Stop it! Stop it! Stop giving away your power to other people. You need to stand up and go, I love you, but I don't really care about your opinion. I love you, but I don't really care what, what you want to say about me. This is my life. This is my soul, my experience. I'm not going to give you the power to tell me what to think about myself. But we do that. Why? Do we do that because in order to be this confident in order to say these kinds of things you have to uproot the roots these are the planting of new seeds when you can be that confident and say those kinds of things and you should absolutely but the roots are still there so where do the roots come from the roots come from our lack of alignment with our source creator our lack of alignment with God is where the roots originate when we are born into our family we got a very loving mother very loving father okay but we still have our karmic conditions which create who we are they create our uh, uh, the way society judges us okay society may judge you as skinny fat thin tall short black white blah 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 blah, blah. that's a society judgment it has no actual value it is simply a criteria that people use to place themselves higher think about it you're ugly where does that put me higher you're fat where does that put me higher why do I say something like that to somebody I don't but if I did why would I say that because I also have low self-esteem you understand that the person that puts down others has low self-esteem they have a lack of self-love when they put somebody else down what in essence are they doing they are covering up their low self-esteem by making themselves higher or better it is literally a manipulation it is one of the most uh, belligerent and unpleasant forms of covering up their own lack of self-love that's what a bully is a bully is someone that has parents that do not love them. A bully is someone that uh, has a protective mechanisms so that nobody gets close to their heart. And they push people away. They judge. They criticize. So anyone that states unpleasant things to you, they have a lack of self-love. No different than you may have a lack of self-love. We all have this. We just shows up in different ways. Some of us are on the, oh, they said these unpleasant things to me side. And some of us are on the bully side. But we're all in denial. How do we fix it? We state with power that I'm tired of it. If you are on the receiving side of being bullied, of accepting other people's thoughts, words, and opinions, then you need to say, stop. I don't really care about your thoughts, words, and opinions. I choose to love you for who you are. If you choose not to love me for who I am, then I do no, no longer need you in my life. The, one of the reasons we keep people in our life that are unpleasant to us is because we get a value out of it. Listen carefully. If we keep people in our life that are unpleasant to us, say unpleasant things to us, keep us in a place of um, low self-esteem keep us disempowered we can't blame them it's our responsibility because we get something out of it those of us that are in that role that position what are we getting out of it we are getting attention you understand that it's a negative attention it's no different than the child that hits the brother to get attention it's no different than the child that does something he 
under, he knows 100% is wrong, but he does it anyway, and he got attention, so he won. We, those of us that are on the being beat up end, we're getting attention. That's why we allow it. If we chose to stand up for our own purity, our own self-worth and value, we would recognize that these uh, conditions that have led up to the age you're at where you're at now watching this video, all of the conditions of your life have led you to this point where you could, if you chose to, recognize the karma involved. I or my ancestors may have communicated to others derogatorily, put them down, said unpleasant things to them, judged or criticized them, and it has come back to remind me I am going to do a deep and sincere forgiveness and ask forgiveness for this in all lifetimes that I have said or been unpleasant to others. And you do that, and you do it many times. And then while you're in that forgiveness practice, you offer forgiveness to all those that have said and done unpleasant things towards you. All those bullies, all those that have been spiteful and hateful and hurtful, and you do it from a place of compassion because, first of all, you may have done it to them first and they're reminding you, so you must offer forgiveness. And secondly, you must be compassionate because those bullies, they have probably a lower self-esteem than you do. They just have a different way of reacting. Do you get it? They just have a different modem operandi of covering up their lack of worthiness. So you be compassionate when you offer your forgiveness to them, for they know not better, right? This is the wisdom that we must understand. Welcome uh, Richie, welcome Toya, welcome Karina, welcome Kristen, welcome Teresa, welcome Ilona, welcome Lawrence. Welcome also to Carl, and aloha to Don Brown. Uh, welcome to uh, Barbara and uh, Manfred and welcome Kim and also Terry Zink and if I missed your name forgive me La, welcome so how do we uproot and plant new seeds we uproot depending on what side of the fence you're on by asking and offering forgiveness if you are one of those that uh, sarca is sarcastic uh, or you say unpleasant things to others uh, jealous comments or hurtful or hateful comments or even if you don't say them but you think them what if you think them ah can't believe that person's so fat geez they should really go on a diet right you thought that you think that is not recorded in your Akashic record it absolutely is do you think that that will not come back to you at some future life it absolutely will in some future life you may be the fat one you may be the one that other people talk down to. How do you think it's going to feel to you, right? You have to awaken to the way karma works. You ask sincerely for forgiveness, for communicating inappropriately to people, to be in derogatory. Some people have been physically abused, sexually abused. Uh, and as a result, they cower and they formulate thoughts in their heads that could include thoughts of, I am not worthy. What have I done? I must have done something wrong to have earned this. Um, I am not lovable enough for them to treat me with love and respect. Any form of these, and probably many more that I'm not mentioning, could happen to those people that have had physical or emotional abuse. Think differently. Awaken. Ask. Dear God, if I have been this derogatory, physically abusive, emotionally abusive. Some of you have been in emotionally abusive relationships, not physical, but emotionally abusive. Maybe you're in a second relationship or you're out of that one, okay? But why were you in that emotionally abusive relationship? There is a reason. Why have you not truly forgiven that person? It's highly unlikely you've truly forgiven them. You probably just covered it up and went on. But did it leave bullet holes in your soul? Probably. Okay, did it leave you with a lack of self-esteem? Depends on how abusive that person was, probably. Okay, did it leave you defensive and worrisome that you might get another person like that? Probably. These 
everyone enters our lives for a reason. There is a karmic web of life. When we ask forgiveness, we are uprooting why these events came to us that brought about the conditions of our accepting a lack of love for self, accepting other people's thoughts, words, and opinions about us. These are reversible. We must ask for forgiveness for any times we have offered those same abusive communications to others. We must, must, and it's hard to do, I get it, offer forgiveness to all those that have been that way towards us. Then we plant the new seeds. What are the new seeds? I am worthy. The moment I was born, I came from the heart of my God, my creator. You need to be clear that your creator loves you without conditions. Now, for some of you that grew up in hell and brimstone teachings, God is spiteful. You, you know, we're, we're all sinners, blah, blah, blah. I don't, I don't accept that. You might have to turn this off and go find another teacher that, that wants to teach you those things. I don't. I'm not going to even apologize for that. God is a loving God, an unconditional God. We are born with free will and the choice for the opportunity to make choices. And in making those choices, we may have meant out of alignment with that original love that we all came from. We may have went out of alignment by saying or thinking an unpleasant thing about another. And that is what created yin and yang. That's what created the separation from original source, is our thoughts, our words, and actions that were not in pure alignment with love. Very simple wisdom. So how do we surround ourselves with self-love again? We realign our knowingness, our inner soul knowingness, with our original love with the divine. God loves you unconditionally. We have learned opposite of that. We have accepted people's truths about us instead of an innate soul-based original truth. We must say, I refuse to surround myself with people that communicate to me or at me in an unpleasant manner. I will communicate with them to give them opportunities to change the way they communicate with me. I will be compassionate. I might recognize that they have been abused in previous times, that they are operating out of defensive mode. I might recognize that they have low self-esteem also. And so I will be conscious and honoring of them when I ask them to be loving in their communication to me. But I will give them a span of time. And if they do not change their way, then I will remove myself from their presence because I love myself enough to no longer allow myself to be abused. This is planting new seeds, which is much easier to do when you uproot the roots. Okay? So it can be that simple. There's truly no need to go to a hundred years of psychologies and take drugs and all that to cover these things up. God loves you unconditionally. God can heal your heart. Not a problem. Very easy to do. Uh, some of the downloads, treasures, and transmissions that are offered to master teachers like myself, or any of the healers, there's so many healers that are watching today, we can offer blessings that literally uproot levels and layers of these uh, karmic blockages, the Shen Qi Jing blockages. It's not magical where all of a sudden overnight you're just, you know, a shining golden heart and you're full of self-love and, and all of the pain goes away. It is layer after layer, but it absolutely accelerates the healing process dramatically when you do get blessings from one of the masters or one of the other students that have these uh, uh, abilities. But do something that can uh, uh, assist you in further processing of your blockages and your suffering. So now we're going to do a practice. I'm going to walk you through a forgiveness practice, a self-love forgiveness practice, and then we're going to uh, we're going to chant, and we're going to use the Source Soul Song of Love, Peace, and Harmony to bring healing to us and to clear our blockages with healing with others. Okay. <clears throat> so everybody, wherever you're at, sit up straight. Bring your back away from the back of the chair. Relax your palms over your lower abdomen. Relax your shoulders. Bring your thoughts, your mind, and your breath into your lower abdomen. 
Take a deep breath in and release the stress, release the day. One more time, breathe in. And release. And if it's comfortable, please repeat after me. Dear my beloved soul, dear my beloved divine creator, my name is Paul Fletcher, Paul Fletcher, Paul Fletcher. State your name three times. I wish to truly, fully connect to the unconditional love that you have always had for me. I ask most humbly and sincerely for you to fulfill my heart in every moment possible to be present in any time that I may have a negative thought towards myself that I might repeat or accept a negative judgment or criticism towards myself I ask you my beloved divine to please come in these moments and remind me of these false teachings these false statements I ask most humbly and sincerely to all souls in all time if I or my ancestors have harmed you physically literally harmed you in a physical manner and it created for you pain suffering closing of your heart lack of love for yourself there is truly no excuse for this and I from the bottom of my heart sincerely sincerely apologize there is no excuse and I vow to not harm others again in this way I wish to assist others to be happier and healthier not to abuse them physically to all the souls in all time that have abused me physically caused me to have low self-esteem lack of love for myself created conditions in which I did not honor myself I forgive you I now recognize that I may have been this way towards you first and I recognize that you may also have significant low self-esteem and you are being more powerful to cover up your pain I forgive you and release you of this karmic debt to me because I do not wish to be abusive towards anybody in the future even if it is to remind them of their abuse towards me Dear all souls in this and all lifetimes, if I have been emotionally abusive towards you, sexually abusive towards you, mentally abusive towards you, if I have spoken to you derogatorily, judgmentally, if I have criticized you, put you down, made you lower than me, if I have ever abused you sexually if I have ever been negative towards you caused you to feel insufficient inferior lower than there is no excuse there is simply no reason for this form of communication ever and I recognize that it is possible that I or my ancestors have been this very unpleasant way towards some souls in all of my lifetimes and if I have been this way I cannot fathom that but if I have from the bottom of my heart I sincerely 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 apologize I promise to not make these same mistakes again if I am verbally abusive to others I will immediately ask forgiveness and change my communication if I am mentally abusive towards others I will immediately 
become aware of this and change my communication. If I am or have been sexually abusive to others, I will immediately change this form of communication. I ask most sincerely for my beloved divine creator to clear these blockages in my heart, in my mind, in my soul, for I never wish to make these mistakes again. To all of the souls that have been emotionally abusive towards me, including my parents, brothers and sisters, children, including all of the friends, ex-lovers, lovers, husbands, wives, and more, if any of you have been emotionally, mentally, or sexually abusive to me, physically abusive towards me, I now recognize it is possible I have been this way towards you, and there is no excuse ever. And if I have been this way towards you in any previous time, I cannot possibly imagine that I may have been that way. But if I have, or my ancestors have, then from the bottom of my heart, I sincerely ask your forgiveness. To all those that have been abusive towards me in these ways, I offer you my unconditional forgiveness. I no longer wish to run around life in this rat wheel of karma, you being abusive to me and me being abusive to you. I understand you may have had significant low self-esteem issues causing you to choose to be the powerful one, the abusive one. And I am not saying that what you have done is okay. I am not saying I approve of it or condone it. I am saying that I recognize that I may have been the predecessor and that I do not wish to be abusive to you in the future as part of this karmic wheel. So I forgive every of you unconditionally and release you all of your karmic debts to me. I ask most sincerely for my beloved divine creator to fulfill my heart, to empower me to make better choices, to empower me to walk away from abusive verbiage, from abusive people. I ask my beloved divine creator to give me kind words and kind thoughts when I say unpleasant things to myself or lack self-confidence. I ask my beloved divine creator to remind me in every way possible of your unconditional love for me so that I can fulfill my heart, release these false teachings, false perceptions, and false acceptances, and replace them with the truth of your unconditional love for me. I cannot bow down to you enough, my beloved Divine Creator. I ask all of the beings of light who are present, including Jesus and Mother Mary, Buddha and Amitofu, Krishna and Ganesha, all the angels, healing angels, archangels, all the beings of light, to please bless me as I chant love, peace, and harmony. I ask all of the souls that I have done this forgiveness practice with to chant with me so that we can clear these blockages once and for all. <coughs> Let us chant together with our heart to clear these blockages. Lula, Lula, Li. Lula, Lula, La, Li. Lula, Lula, Li, Lula. Lula, Li, Lula. Lula, Li. Oh, I 
应容，耳目失声，双爱平安的谢。相爱平安的心 ，I love my heart and soul，I love all humanity。Join hearts and souls together。Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. Send your love to all of the souls. Give your love. Receive the love from all those that have been abusive. They are bowing down to you, asking for forgiveness. Their souls know they have made huge mistakes. They are begging for your forgiveness. Other souls that have abused, been abused by you, are offering you forgiveness. How generous of them! Send your love. Be very grateful. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, la, li. La lu la li lu la lu la li lu la lu la li lu la. I wash in her lean. I. 让人泪，让灵融，耳目失声，相爱平安的心，相爱平安的心。I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. Silently inside your heart, offer your gratitude. Humbly, release people of their spiritual debts to you. Ask forgiveness for all the times you may have been abusive to any of these souls. They want to forgive you. They want to make sure your heart is pure and that you have learned your lessons. Be humble. Ask for forgiveness from your heart. Offer forgiveness equally humbly. Nobody wants to go around the rat wheel again and again. Release the suffering. Silently, dear my beloved divine Creator, please forgive me for not inviting you to come to sit in my heart each and every day. Please forgive me for not acknowledging the beauty of the air, the wind, the cloud, the sun. The flowers, the bird song, and the millions of different ways you show me your unconditional love. Please continue to bless me, my beloved divine Creator, to absorb your love, to plant new roots, so that I no longer look outside of myself for validation. Please bless me to remove the need for validation. Please bless me to remove the need to be seen. Please bless me to remove the negative attention-seeking behaviors. Please bless me to be fulfilled by your love unconditionally, so that I can remove entirely these false. 
teachings and replace them entirely with the fullness of your love I am so very humbled and grateful my beloved divine creator and then bow your head to beloved God in gratitude thank you thank you thank you how 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 okay that was a very very powerful guided meditation hmm? hopefully you receive some value from it I encourage those of you who have had long-standing blockages with this subject to watch this again and again because these kinds of blockages it would be wonderful if they were just 100% gone instantly and that is certainly possible but they are patterns that we have built up over time we have reaction patterns we have acceptance patterns we have defensive patterns we have patterns that have allowed us to somehow navigate through life navigate through the rocks that are in our shipping lane of our subboats and these patterns are defense based patterns they are patterns that keep us alive and afloat so that our heart doesn't hurt but it doesn't mean that they are the right patterns so we can only retain or gain so much value from this wisdom and this teachings please watch again and again and again bookmark it earmark it save the URL because each time you listen you will get a new aha moment <laughs> each time you do the practice you'll release more I highly recommend you consider receiving a crown chakra blessing or two or three or five specifically for this subject matter it will accelerate your self-love processes dramatically there are many that we have difficulty releasing our suffering from many we just have how do we forgive them they have been so unpleasant towards us crown chakra blessings can help you release that suffering clear huge openings in your heart and allow God's love to come in they're only a hundred dollars each I know for some of you that's a lot I get it save up for it but they are priceless in their return they will help you in ways that you cannot possibly fathom so I look forward to serving you in the future I thank you for this opportunity to serve you if you need to get hold of me you can contact me through Facebook Messenger uh, or through my email a soul healer at yahoo.com and I look forward to seeing you on Thursday 9 a.m. which is three hours earlier than when this one started make sure you like if you have friends that have these blockages make sure you copy the URL and email it to them Facebook message them, whatever make sure they get this video it will help many many souls I offer my gratitude to divine thou source all the beings of light who have come to offer their service here today we cannot bow to you enough we thank all the souls that have come for our forgiveness practices we cannot bow to you enough thank you thank you thank you love you love you love you all souls respectfully return Thank you, everybody. Bye-bye. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.